attempt to adjust your audio settings. Your system is working at optimum capability. There is no need to look over your shoulder, just relax. Breathe. It will all soon be crystal clear. There we are. True Horror Stories of Texas, Brujas of La Homa Road. The story you're about to hear comes to us from the city of Mission, Texas, and is based on a very horrifying encounter. A couple of friends give their co-workers a ride home and end up enduring a night of absolute terror at the hands of two flying witches. Back in 1994, I used to work in a fast food restaurant where we sold hot dogs, burgers, etc. For security purposes, I will omit the name of the restaurant. But I will say, it was in McAllen, Texas. Here's what I experienced back then. Till this day, I still have a hard time believing it. Well, back then, that restaurant closed at midnight. And a few co-workers and myself stayed after hours to clean up. Okay guys, hurry up. I need all the side duties and closing duties done ASAP. I don't want to have to stay here any longer than we have to. And don't forget to clean the ice machine. Ugh, look at all this mess. Some customers are so disgusting. Well, if it weren't for these disgusting customers, you wouldn't have a job. Yeah, well I never said I wasn't gonna do it. Listen, little girl, don't talk back to me. You want to lose your job? Hey, chill out, man. We're gonna get it done, okay? Yeah, no need to get your panties in a bunch, sir. <laughs> All of you are on thin ice. Just finish up quickly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whatever you say, your majesty. What's his problem? I don't know. Ever since he got promoted to manager, he's been on this power trip. Yeah, tell me about it. He wanted me to wash his car last week. Back then, a female coworker always needed a ride home, so one of my coworkers and I took her home. Hey, Henry, can you give me a ride home again? I'll give you gas money. Yeah, that's fine. I'm already taking Juan home. I'll drop you off too. Oh, cool. Thanks. Due to her living so far away from McAllen, I went with my friend to drop her off. She lived on La Joma Road. Back in 1994, La Joma Road was a deserted, dark, lonely road with not too many houses and it was only partly lit by a few streetlights. So Rosalva invited Henry and I to chill out outside her house to talk. Thanks for the ride, guys. Hey, do you guys want to chill out outside for a bit and talk? I'm not tired yet. Why not? Sure, I'm not tired either. My friend and I talk with Rosalva through the wee hours of the morning till we touch the theme of ghosts, paranormal, and witchcraft. Hey, have any of you ever seen a ghost or anything like that before? I haven't, but my cousin said he saw a ghost girl in his junior high school once. What about you, Rosalva? Rosalva mentioned to us that right across the road on the other side, there was this very old, creepy looking tree. She said that on that tree stood two witches. As a matter of fact, you see those old, creepy looking trees over there? Yeah, what about them? Well, there's these two witches that like to hang out there. <laughs> Shut up! That's not true. I thought it was a hoax, and she was trying to pull the fast one on me. But no, she told me to. Cross the dark road to the other side. There's an old abandoned building with that creepy looking tree on one side. Don't believe me? Go. Yeah, come on, come on, do it. Fine. When I come back, we're gonna go to Whataburger. Rosalva, you're buying. So I got close to that tree, and to my surprise, I remember seeing two black silhouettes the size of vultures. I tried to scare them off, thinking maybe they were some kind of birds. They're just birds! Shoo, shoo! Get out of here! But what happened next is what makes me a believer. Those two black silhouettes started to growl at me. A cold spine, chilling growl that to this day, when I remember, I start to shake. I got a big rock 
and attempted to throw it at those creatures. While my friend Rosalva yelled at me to stop. No, Juan, stop. You don't want to do that, man. Too late. The rock struck one of the creatures. It started to talk like a hurt lady. No, mijo. Por favor, no me hagas daño. No estoy herida. Don't hurt me? What the? And then both creatures flew off the branch towards me with the intention to attack me. I started to run across the road to the other side towards Henry and Rosalva. Those two creatures. I got to see them in the twilight of night. They had horrible white long faces like a 200 year old lady with their wings spread and huge. Every time they flapped, it ran through my head that they were gonna get closer to grabbing me. By the time I reached my friend and coworker, they ran inside the house and me after them. Open the door! Once I got inside, my coworker slammed the door shut. We looked through the window and the flying creatures were waiting for me to come out. Come outside? We just want to talk to you? Why'd you do that? Yeah, now they're never gonna leave. I'm sorry! What should I do? Maybe you should apologize to them. What? No way! I'm not going back out there! Do it, Juan. What if they go after my family? They know where I live. Oh, God. Help me. Feeling scared, I apologize to them both. Los siento, señoritas. I'm sorry. Is the Too late for you, Juanito. Let's just wait until sunrise, until they disappear. Yeah, I've heard brujas change back into humans once the sun comes up. So we stayed inside for like four hours till sunrise. But in those four long hours, the creatures never gave in. They were waiting for me outside. Juanito! Juanito! <laughs> so after sunrise, I glanced through the window and saw that the creatures were long gone. I told my friend to hurry up and get in the car to drive off. I think they're gone. Henry, let's go. After saying goodbye to Rosalva, we took off, but in the middle of the road, we saw two young ladies walking while crossing the Homa road of the other side. And one of the young girls was bleeding from her forehead, trying to hold the bleeding with her palm. As we drove past them, they both stopped and stared directly at us. We could both see them in the rear view mirror as we drove away. I know it was them that transformed from animal to human in the daylight. Coincidence or not, you decide. Now many years later, whether destiny or only God knows, I travel a home I road daily because I live a few blocks where the occurrence took place. And when I pass through that place after so many years, I wonder what happened to those things. Creatures, young ladies, witches, whatever they want to call themselves. That old building was demolished years ago, and that tree no longer exists. In its place, there are new buildings and no more houses. My coworker's house no longer exists. In its place, there's a tire shop Back then, I never would have thought, not even for a bit, that many years later, I was going to live close by that place. I will never forget. Well, that was quite a terrifying tale indeed. We should all beware of what crawls, creeps, growls, screams, or even flies in the night, especially on tonight of all nights. 
Regardless of what you might believe, we never know just what true horror stories may be waiting to happen. Until next time, stay spooky, my friends, and have a happy Halloween. Halloween. <laughs>